Today I am going to show you how to make an easy lizard trap. First, you're going to need a water bottle and tap one third of it right here. Any water bottle will do fine. Then, after you cut it, you're going to take off the cap and you're going to push this down. I'll explain how this works after I make the trap. There. And so, you should have something that looks like this. Lizards like to eat dead bugs or bugs. So I collected some roly polies. If you want it, you can use any bug. I use roly polies because I actually know where they live and it's really easy for me. I don't like ants because they're too tiny. Look under rocks or any moist, moist place. Because that's where the roly polies like to just hang out and chill. So, I got about maybe six or seven of them. But, whatever you, however many you put in, that's how many the lizard's probably going to eat. So, try not to name them or else you're going to get connected to them. That's going to be sad. So, you just pour them in. Dead or alive will do fine. For lizards, you want to if you you should know where they are, so you don't just put them anywhere else. Something just like maybe not lizards might get. The most common place they go to is that place where you should put your trap in. Let's go put it out. Okay, I'm in my backyard now, and I'm going to put the trap where I think the lizards most likely to be. So my lizard has been going around this part of the of my backyard. Just a lot of branches and stuff and I guess it's a good place to put this trap. So I'm going to put the trap right here. And you want to try and make it sideways so it's easier for the lizard to go. So I'm just going to put it right here. This is how the trap is going to work. The lizard will come in from here. Once they go in, that little place where you drink out of from a water bottle, that they're going to go, jump in and eat the bugs. But what they can't do is they can't come back out from where they have came in from. So it's a pretty good trap. I mean, I never tested out this before, so I hope it's a success. But let's just see how it works. I'll see you then. Okay, so I left my trap overnight, and now I'm gonna check it one more time, just to make sure if there's any lizards. So, it looks like no luck came my way because there's no lizards in it. Only the bugs, so some of them are still alive. I think some are dead. Anyway, so luck hasn't passed my way. And so, I mean, I've seen this work for other people, but it, it just looks like it didn't work for me. So I'm just going to keep trying. I'm still just going to leave it right there. And then maybe hope that I can see a lizard. So if your trap doesn't have a lizard in it, don't cry or anything. It will take a while sometimes. Yeah, so tell me how it worked for you, but in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy how to trap a lizard trap. <laughs> 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 <laughs>